Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to review how to pair keypads to your Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, so we have the Pro A7 Plus system right here. We have the Prow Touch keypad, that's the uh, touchscreen keypad for the system. And then we also have the Pro 6 LCD KP, that's the push button keypad for the system as well. Uh, so we're going to go over how to power both these keypads up and then how to pair them to the system individually. Okay, uh, so we're gonna start off with the Pro 6 LCD KP. This is the push button keypad for the Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, now we don't have this powered up yet, so we're gonna do that first. So we already have the back plate off. Here's the back plate, just remove it. We have the backup battery in the system, but it's not plugged in yet, so we wanna do that first. Let's get this in. All right, so battery is plugged in. And then we are using a uh, LT cable to make the installation a bit easier. We have two power terminals here. You can use your own wiring. Uh, you can use 22 gauge, 20 gauge, 18 gauge, or 16 gauge. Uh, the 22 gauge has the shorter wire length that you can run about 19 feet. And then if you go all the way up to the 16 gauge, that's about 75 feet. Uh, and then just real quick, the 20 gauge, about 30 feet and 18 gauge is about 51 feet for the wire length. Uh, so we're just using the LT cable, which is eight feet long. And then we already have this connected here. So we're going to pop the back plate onto the keypad, nice and secured. And then we just have to connect the barrel connector here. And the keypad will be powering up. And then while that power is up, we're gonna to go to the Pro A7 Plus system. I'm gonna press on the top option there. That's gonna, oh, I'm sorry. We're actually going to not press the top. We're gonna to press the bottom three menu. We're going to scroll until we get to zone, until we get to tools. We're gonna to enter in the installer code. Ours is the default 4112. We're gonna to go to programming, peripherals, and then the add button up here. So when you power on the keypad, it's gonna automatically start to try to pair with the system. And then we have the confirmation there. We had the tone from the keypad and the tone from the main panel. It goes to zone number 800. And then if we want, we can add descriptions to this. So if this is at a backdoor, uh, we can put something along the lines of backdoor keypad. In this case, we're just gonna leave it blank and make sure everything else is there. You can set a partition for the keypad. We're gonna leave ours at partition one and everything is looking good. So we're gonna save and the keypad is paired. Perfect. Okay. Now if we want, we can also edit this. So again, if you wanna go back in and change the, uh, the description of the keypad, Again, saying where it is. And then we have a supervision time here, 15 minutes, that's by default. So that means that every 15 minutes, the keypad is gonna check in with the panel. And if there is not a response, I'm sorry, reverse that. Panel is gonna check in with the keypad. And if there's not a response from the keypad, we're gonna get an error on the panel, uh, basically a communication error, letting us know that the keypad is not responding or connecting properly. All right. Let's just back out of egg, out of programming. All the way back to the home screen. Okay, so we have disarm chime, ready to arm, and then that is also the same status we have on the main panel, the Pro A7 Plus. Both are showing disarmed. Uh, so now let's just make sure that we can arm the system with the keypad, and then we'll disarm it from there as well. So to arm the system, it's fairly simple. You're just gonna press one of the arming options. In this case, we're gonna do home. Okay, we have a countdown on both the panel and the keypad, and both are set to arm home. Uh, this countdown is your exit delay. So this is essentially how much time you have to leave the home before the system is fully armed. And now if we wanna disarm it, we're gonna disarm from the keypad. We'll enter in our master code. Ours is still the default of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna follow that with a one. 
Okay, we have disarmed on the keypad and disarmed on the main panel. And now we're just gonna make sure that works in reverse as well. So we'll arm from the main panel and make sure the keypad follows it. And then we'll disarm from the panel as well. So we'll do arm. Again, we'll do arm home. Armed home. Okay, we have the countdown on both the keypad and the main panel. And again, both are set to arm home. And we can cancel, so essentially disarm. One, two, three, four. Disarmed, ready to arm. And we have disarmed on both the main panel and the keypad. Okay, so that is one of the keypads out of the way, functioning properly. And I'm just gonna swap these two here. Okay, so this is the Prowl Touch keypad. Uh, so this is gonna connect to your home Wi-Fi network. This needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the actual Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is power this on. So we'll open up the back plate. There's a battery cover here. We're gonna remove that. The keypad will come with a battery and very easy to install this. Just match up the little uh, pins there with the connectors on the battery. That slides in, pushes into place. We'll put the cover back on and we'll close the back cover. Now you do see there are little uh, connectors here as well. There is a wall mount uh, that can charge the keypad. We do not have the wall mount here, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the provided power cable, which goes right to the side of the keypad here. It's a micro USB. I'm gonna plug this in and wait for that to power on. And then once this power is on, it's gonna give us the option to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Just get this to stay here. Can take about a minute or so. And now again, the keypad is gonna to connect to the main panel through a Wi-Fi connection. Obviously for the uh, push button keypad, we didn't have to connect that to Wi-Fi. It connected through the radio frequency signal. All right, so this is the screen that we get when we first power on. We're gonna give the uh, options to go to the Wi-Fi networks. That's gonna pull in the available networks or you can add network manually. So if you know all your Wi-Fi information, the name, the password, the security type, you can go through the manual operation. Uh, we're going to do Wi-Fi networks. And then we have our Wi-Fi right here. And we have the name, and then we have the option to put in the password. So let me just take this away real quick while I put in the password. Okay, password is in, so we're gonna press save and connect. All right, so that is trying to find the panel. So we're gonna go back to the panel, press the three lines on the bottom for the menu. Scroll to tools. Again, enter in the installer code. Ours is the default for 112. We're going to go to programming, peripherals, and then just like the last keypad, we're gonna press the plus icon and add Wi-Fi touchscreen. Okay. 
There we go. And then we're going to enter in the master pin uh, or the installer. Both of ours are still the default, so we're just going to do the installer. 4112. Okay, connected to control. Okay. And then if we go back to the panel, we have the confirmation there. Again, similar screen to the last one we had gotten. Uh, this is showing up as the Wi-Fi touchscreen keypad. We have the zone number 801. We can do zone descriptions if we'd like. Again, so if this was at the front door, we can put front door keypad. And we have the option for supervision here. So we can have this enabled or disabled. Uh, what supervision does again is that the panel will check in with the keypad and make sure it responds. If it does not get a response from the keypad, it's gonna throw up a communication error on the main panel so we know that there is an issue. So everything here is looking good. We're gonna save. Okay, we have both our keypads showing there. Since we just powered this on, we have a lower battery while that charges. Okay, so we will back out to the home screen. Okay, <clears throat> and again, we're gonna just arm from the keypad, make sure it works at the panel, and then vice versa. Uh, so since this is touchscreen, we have the very similar screens here. They both show disarm. They both have the arming option. So we'll arm from the keypad first. We're going to do arm home. Armed home. We have the countdown on both the keypad and the main panel. Let's make sure we can disarm. So we'll press cancel and turn the master code. Okay, we have disarm screen here and disarm screen on the main panel. And let's just do that in reverse. So we'll go to the main panel, we'll press arm. We'll do arm home. Armed home. And right away, both screens are showing similar. They both have the same countdown. Both are showing arm home. So we'll cancel, enter the master code. Disarmed, ready to arm. And then right away again, you see it's very quick. Both of them are showing disarmed. Uh, and everything is matching up properly. So again, this is gonna more communicate through the Wi-Fi network. Uh, so if this is further away from the keypad and doesn't have such a strong Wi-Fi signal, adding any normal Wi-Fi repeater will help with that. It'll help boost that signal and help that connection. The other push button keypad that was connecting through a radio frequency, uh, the range for that is about 300 feet. Um, and there are uh, repeaters available for the Pro 6 series devices that you can get as well if you're needing that extra signal. Okay, so that is how you pair the keypads to the Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, so we went over how to install both keypads, the Pro 6 LCD KP and the Prowl Touch. Uh, we went through the pairing process for both and then tested that both are functioning properly. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can contact us by phone. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. We have an email address. The email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat on there as well. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos, and make sure to like the video as well. It helps us out a lot. Uh, once again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.